Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with another simple tutorial. As I promised you in the previous tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can still create a dynamic date using JavaScript. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you how you can achieve this using PHP, but still I know some of you guys never had that exam server to run or read that PHP. But still, as I told you, when you upload your website online, it will be running on the server, so the server will be able to interpret that PHP. But still, I wanted to show you this using JavaScript, because JavaScript can run even on the client side servers. So that's what we are going to be achieving today in this tutorial. So I'm having this example right now. So we are getting this date now dynamically from JavaScript. You are not the one supposed to write this date. So for it to keep on incrementing 2019, 2020. So whenever the user will be visiting your website, that's what you're going to be creating. So let me refresh this page and we remain with nothing. So I'm going to start by creating some simple tag for a footer. Opening and closing tag. And I'm going to put some paragraph here called YouTube tutorial. tutorial I can talk and write and we say all right reserved so if you are to save this this is what we are having now let's give it some little bit of styling it's I'm going to open the internal styling style sheet so this one is option you can either put it there or leave it so i'm going to target it by the tag name which is footer i'm going to give it some background color background color some dark gray color is going to be white let's save this and see let's give it some padding so we're just styling this just to look better and i'm going to center everything text align center i guess that's it this tutorial is known for css we are creating a dynamic date so i just wanted to put that simple styling there so what we're going to do inside your footer we are going to open the script tags for javascript to run so you can remove this one it's option so inside these script tags i'm going to create a variable called get date and i'm going to assign it to a new date a new date function and say dot get full year function so we have created this variable and what we are storing in this variable it's this we are getting the new date dot the full year so what we are going to do below it we said document dot write open parenthesis single quotes and now we are going to write our details we want to display on the page so this is the copyright symbol you see ampersand copy space we write copyright and we concatenate it so in php you remember we use the dot so in javascript we just put a plus symbol there then we write the name of the variable we created which is get date and again we concatenate it with some more information we want to add let's say austin code cipher very simple that's it so what you have done is declare a variable called get date and this is what we are storing inside that variable the new date function and this is what we this function is what we use to get the full year or the actual year the browser is running in 
so this one will fetch the full year and put it here in the variable we created so what we are doing we are writing in our document and this is the information we are passing plus the year let's save this and reload it very simple we have got 2018 so this is going to be dynamic if i wanted i would just write here like this 2018 which will still give me the same information but for this case i will have to go back to the server every year and update this date every year and i will be updating this date so the better way to do it is doing this we just place a variable there that will always be incremented whenever this function meets a new year and we shall still get the same feedback 2018 so guys this is how you can achieve it in javascript so let me know in the comments below if you watch my php tutorial which method is better to use to achieve the same stuff getting a dynamic date for your website updating every year the users visit your website now we talked about being dynamic let's say we have just put this on the first page what if we wanted to go to this link and we still meet the same footer is it are we just going to be writing this footer on every page we create which is a big no so what we are going to do is cut this from the page i have a file here called footer i'm going to paste this html inside this file called footer what you're going to do as i told you your website will be running on the server so it will be able to interpret php so what you do is write the php opening tag and closing tag drop down some few lines and say include and the file you want to include which is footer so footer is done having our information so let us refresh when we go back we should see the same information now on the page remember we have just we are fetching it from this file and we are displaying it here let's go to this page called another we want to display the same footer on this page so we go to a page called another and we say underscore php and we say and we say include include the file you want to include which is footer.php so if you are to reload this page you're going to be having the same footer so we shall not be writing the same code here so in case even you want to change information we don't need to go to every page and change we just go to one folder and we say copyright symbol youtube tutorial so we can add anything there so i'm just adding some fake details so we shall update one file but when you go to every file it will always be updated so that's how you can create a dynamic date for your website using javascript in the previous tutorial i showed you how you can achieve that using php so guys if these tutorials are useful to you please go ahead subscribe to the channel always like the videos after watching and i'll always see you in the next tutorials remember your website will always be running on the server so you are free to use php anywhere else anywhere you want peace